while we would like to think that we can predict people's behavior, we can't always do that. People behave in unexpected ways. They do things that are unthinkable and unimaginable. And, and thus the question becomes, how do you understand that? You know, how, how do you dissect behavior? The Hulu original series Chance paints the portrait of a forensic neuropsychiatrist who embarks on his own dark journey. We take a closer look at the new thriller with the help of a real-life neuropsychologist. My name is Dr. Angie Burrell. I'm a forensic neuropsychologist. And essentially, uh, I focus on um, decoding the puzzle of human behavior. Quite often, we meet people who function according to societal norms, and slowly over time, they deteriorate in some way, or they make choices which are peculiar or, or self-destructive. Eldon Chance is a 55-year-old right-handed neuropsychiatrist. Of late, he is increasingly aware of a mental state he finds to be dark and unstable. And those people are interesting because their life doesn't follow a path that's easily predicted and understood. Everyone has a story, and they got, they got to be where they are, owing to a host of factors. I spend my days in the company of those mutilated by life. As a clinical neuropsychologist, the areas of the brain that, that are of most importance would be the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex, or the prefrontal lobe. The limbic system regulates human emotion, affective memory, our capacity to become angry, even aggressive. So for example, if we have a perceived threat, that may activate the limbic system. Now it's, it's the prefrontal area that perceive you know, this activation and then help us to determine how we want to proceed. If the prefrontal lobes are not working properly, you, you can't have a lot of trouble. It could be really a bad situation. Since his discharge, the patient admits to both visual and olfactory hallucinations. When we look at ourselves, we always have explanations and rationalizations for why we don't behave as we should have. People don't always behave rationally, and they're not always responsible. Do you really still not see what dangerous ground this is? Or is that what you like about it? Certainly, there are a number of challenges in doing you know, forensic neuropsychology or forensic psychology. Sometimes we put ourselves in situations which, which there is some potential risk or some potential danger. You know, maybe that's what makes it a little exciting as well, uh, the unpredictable nature of it all. 